Hey everybody, Zach here, and today we're going to try a little bit of an experiment because of a real life situation that I find myself in from time to time, and I'm sure you found yourself in time time too. So stick around, and we're going to get to that here in just a minute. What we're doing today is we are going to be smoking a frozen Boston butt. I've found myself in a situation where I forget to thaw out my balsam butt and then, you know, it takes forever. I've had this thing sitting out for about two hours and I didn't want to take it directly out of the freezer and try to smoke it. I wanted to let it thaw out enough on the outside to where I can put a binder on it and get my seasonings, my rub, all of that going and then smoke it and see how it turns out. I was thinking about it and I was thinking, it, the heat slowly makes its way to the middle anyway, so I don't think it's going to be a whole lot of difference in the way the heat penetrates as opposed to it's, it's thawing while it's penetrating. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Can you let your butt thaw enough to stick some seasoning on and then throw it in the smoker and just let it cook like it normally would? And how, what kind of result will we get? So stick around for this video and we're gonna answer that question today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this butt out. This is just a small five pound little Boston butt we picked up at the grocery store because they had a good sale. And then, you know, we kind of just threw it in the deep freezer for a, uh, for like a weekend cook just to have some barbecue sandwiches. You know what I mean? Uh, nothing, nothing real fancy, nothing too special. So all I'm gonna do, just a quick fix here. We're gonna put some mustard on the outside. And you can see it's frozen. It's still got ice. So we're just gonna spread some mustard over the outside of the butt like you normally would. Once we got a pretty even coat of mustard on that side, we're gonna go on with a little coat of Kosher salt, nice big chunky salt. It's gonna create a nice tasty outside layer, nice tasty bark on this butt. And remember pork butt's got a lot of fat and so it can handle salt pretty well. Then we're gonna hit it up with the Meat Church Holy Voodoo. It's a great rub. It's got a little spice kick to it, a little sweet. It's great for a quick, quick butt cook so you can have some tasty barbecue sandwiches to feed your family and your friends. Like I said, this is about a five pounder. You can see it's hard as a rock still on the inside. Just a little salt, a little holy voodoo, and we're going to try to do that on all sides. And we're going to lay it down. You can see this side is still frozen a bit more. You can still see where the little indention from the uh, absorbent pad that they put on it at the butcher shop. This is your fat side. There's a lot of argument about cooking fat side up, fat side down. Some people say fat side up because the fat renders and it melts down through the meat and keeps it moist. Some people say fat side down because the fat is facing the direction of the heat and it protects the meat. So basically, I think the truth is that uh, Boston butt is a very fatty piece of meat and if you dry it out, you've really done something. Um, just be careful with your internal temps and uh, you should be fine. We're gonna see how this does internal temp wise. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the fat cap on and I am going to remove some of the fat after the cook. So remove the fat after the cook. Instead of grinding it up in the meat, my family, we tend to like ours a little less fatty after it's been pulled. And so I've ground up the fat cap into the meat a couple times, and we just wasn't nearly as big of a fan of that as fat cap removed. There's plenty of fat, and so no need to have those big chunks unless you just like those big chunks. Fat cap in. All right, so we're out here at the pit. We're gonna put our butt in. Now I am choosing to cook this thing a little bit faster, a little hotter, a little faster, instead of the 225 for multiple, 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 multiple hours. 
we're gonna try a frozen Boston butt, 300 degrees, and we're hopefully be pulling this thing off around dinner time for about an hour rest, hopefully. But we're gonna see how it goes. It's an experiment, smoking a frozen Boston butt, going high temp. So I'm hoping to get a really good bark on the outside. I'm, I'm gonna go fat side down today. It's gonna be mighty fine, I guarantee. Just for fun. Let's see what the internal temp is on this thing, if I can even. So just in case you uh, may be wondering, is that thing really froze? There is our internal temp on the Boston butt. It's sitting there dancing at 32, 33 degrees Fahrenheit. And so we're gonna just see what happens. Back out here to the pit, we're at the two hour mark. And in case you're wondering where our IT has gotten to, uh, after two hours, we are currently at 82 degrees. So almost, well, a 50 degree swing from 32 to 82 at right at the two hour mark. And we're just gonna open it up, have a look, and we're gonna do a little apple cider vinegar spritz just to make sure that the meat is staying moist and that the smoke is gonna to adhere to that meat and create a nice thick bark. And that's pretty much it. Uh, a 50 degree jump on a frozen Boston butt in two hours. And we're gonna keep going, we'll see y'all in a bit. All right, so we are out here at the pit. Great news, great, great news. We are at temp. We are at almost exactly on the eight hour mark. So we have gotten our butt to 205 degrees internal temp and it took eight hours to get there from frozen. So now all that's left is to determine if it's going to be tender and, you know, juicy. I think it's going to be. Let's open up, have a look. Great color. Great color. And just a great bark. You can see how much it's shrunk up. It was a smaller butt, so I knew it was going to shrink. I expected that. But uh, from frozen, you know, if you watched the whole video, you saw it was 32 degrees internal temp, all the way up to 205 in a matter of eight hours. So the question is, is, is it going to be a good barbecue sandwich or a good bite of barbecue? We're going to let it rest for about 20 or 30 minutes and then we're going to find out. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have about an hour rest. Me and my wife managed to suppress the strong saliva gland release of just drool for a whole hour. Pretty proud of myself, pretty proud. But look what we got, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What has happened is that we started to smoke a frozen Boston butt at 12 o'clock today. We put that bad boy on 300 degrees. We spritzed it once an hour with apple cider vinegar. And that took eight hours, almost exactly, to get it to 205. And now we have let this thing rest for approximately an hour. And now we're gonna open it up. Kind of take a look. This is a smaller Boston butt, it was only five pounds. That's perfect. Just open it up, do a little shred. Got a great bark, just a great bark. And this was from Frozen. And so I want you to kind of, you know, make sure that you take that into consideration that this is not to replace cooking a Boston butt that's thawed and cooking it at 225 to get the result that you know you're gonna get from that Boston butt. Slow cooking it for 225 for like 16 hours, you know, 10 pound Boston butt. I mean, we know the results you're gonna get from that. It's gonna be phenomenal. This is, oh, I was supposed to set the Boston butt out last night, I forgot. Now it's nine o'clock on a Saturday and my Boston, whole Boston butt's froze solid. What am I gonna do? Let me look online. 
Let's see if there's a YouTube video. Maybe, maybe you can smoke one when it still froze. <laughs> Welcome to this video. If that happened to you, hit the like button for me. Become a subscriber because we're on the same page, my friend. We're on the same page. This looks so good. Can you imagine how good this is going to be smothered in some barbecue sauce, a little light mayo, maybe some, maybe some uh, coleslaw, and just put on a nice bun with some, either some french fries or some potato chips or something. I mean, I was able to put this in today at lunch, and we have Boston Butt here a little late. I would say get it in at, you know, 9 or 10 o'clock if you can. So don't let it, I let mine thaw out for two hours so that the dry rub would stick a little bit better. But I don't think that was necessary, honestly. I think I probably could have went ahead and stuck it in and I would have been able to eat it six. I don't know if y'all love this outside meat as much as I do. But I love the outside meat. It's so good. It just got so much flavor. Mm. Man. I can make a fire sandwich. Man, it's good. Look. Mm. Man, that's good. I hope that y'all... No, don't fall apart. <laughs> Woo, still hot, still hot. Hour rest. Don't worry about your boss and butt getting cold. That is not going to be what happens. Oh. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, comments, hit me up down below. Or if you want to check out any of my links, it helps me out. Those are affiliate links. So, no calls to you, but if you use my links, it helps me out. So, hope I see y'all in the next video. Hope y'all have a great night. And we'll see y'all next time. Sweet.